puck here, but he spun off it nicely there by Hermary, the AP, number 12. Nick Hermary, 17-year-old. Now it's almost turned over in front. Now it is. Murphy right circle in front. Soloway scores! Viega coughed it up to Soloway. Murphy threw it back in front. And Soloway's one-timer beat Huggins. 5-11 into the first. The Vs have that all-important first goal. It's 1-0. Yeah, a great pass from Murphy out in front to Jed Soloway, who just uh, plotted it right in the net. And before the Express even had their first shot of the hockey game, the Vs have already taken a 1-0 lead. Jed Soloway gets the goal, a big one for the Vs at 14-49 this first period. He scored on Friday night against the Vernon Vipers, his 12th of this season at 5-11 of this first period. He'll and the old descent on the right side. At the blue line, a shovel pass ahead for Blonde. He'll take it in the right corner here as Hofford was double teamed by two four checkers. Puck goes on the right wall, Blonley back to Stetcher, wrist shot, scores! Screenshot, Troy Stetcher. As they're still announcing the first goal makes it two nothing. 5.56 into this first period. Yeah, this one just a wrister from the point and it gets by Huggins, as you mentioned, the screen shot. And the captain does it again. Uh, Hasn't scored, I believe, since the game against Powell River in Powell River, the January nice shorthanded goal that he had. So that'll feel good for him. And yeah, he's been looking, that's for sure. He's been coming in, spin moves, everything he can do. Had a nice feed to Cody DePork for the winner uh, in that game against West Kelowna last Friday and able to, or last Saturday, I should say, and he's able to. Spun around the, the left circle and splits the defense now in a drop pass to the point. And it rolls back on Chad Katner with 11.29 to go, with both teams making wholesale changes here. Now to Hosford in front of his own goal at center. Nice play by Blomley to bat that out of midair to negate an icing call. It rolls in behind the express net. Ryan turns it over, and Matia in front for Blomley! And he scores and makes it 3-0, short side on another turnover. Great forechecking, and the Bees go up by three. Yeah, one of our keys at the beginning of the game in the pregame was the forecheck. Cam and Matea on this forechecking line with McCallum and Blondley, and a great forecheck by Emmett Tay getting behind the net, stripping the defender, and Travis Blondley, first game since December 29th. How about a goal for you? Makes it a 3-0 uh, game for the Vs before the 10-minute mark. Welcome back, Travis Blondley, fifth of the year, and first since December 14th, a shorthanded goal. He's back to be frustrated, didn't hold up, ran into Chad Katner as he was driving the net on a dump in. Uh, save on Foods and Kellogg's power play here for the Vs with 10.47 to go, already up 3-0. Prize back in the box. McClure left circle, Murphy at the goal line, fed in front, Soloway buries it. His second of the period, a tap in on the back door. Power play, quick to strike, 4 nothing. Vs. Yeah, that's a way to rid a 4-for-50 uh, power play. Go one for one here to start the night. Jeff Soloway uh, eyeing up a pretty good game already before the 10-minute mark, scores his second of the night. Right in front, just banged it in, and the Vs don't take much time to strike on the power play. It's already a 4 up the game. Yeah, field goal and a safety, or rouge, you would say right now, the CFL terms, Vs up four, rip on the Express's Blondley at 8.43 for Anatia. And now Jed Solo with the latest goal score on the power play. Save on Foods and Kellogg's power play contestant top was Flanagan right side, Troy Stetcher. On the wall, Brock Balson shielding it. Now trading position with Louis Nanuel, skate up back to the point, puts the brakes on. Midpoint, Stetcher, one-timer, tipped in front, rebound! Balson wide, DePork on the rebound, he buries! Cody DePork, his goal streak lives on, 5-0 with 6.25 to go. On the back end or in front, he's got 11, the V's got five, all blue and white here in the first. Yeah, and, uh, it may not be to start the game, but he gets one anyways, and Cody DePort's just been red hot as of late, and this power play now is two for three. So the power play that needed some work to uh, to get themselves going here has got some early two for three, and can't really rag on the other one of being 15 seconds long. I don't know what you want to say about this first period. It's been all pin ticked, and I wrote about it today on the blog, uh, on the website, you can check it out. Needing a game like this, needing the power play to get going. We talked about journeyman of the BCHL, especially this year. Three teams this season yeah, alone. Yeah, already is 13 this year. And now the V's on the express dumping can't clear. Held into the blue line, nice in the right side. That by Rosignol goes back in the right corner. The express make changes. Nanny on his near side wall here with 3:02 gone, trying to clear him and Depork get crossed up. Held in by the express. Rosignol can't find it. 
And now it's banked out to center. Nanny is quick up the middle of the blue line. Drop pass. Murphy walking in. Scores! Oh, wow! Crossbar down. And roll the highlight reel. That was a beauty. It's 6-0 on a wrist shot over the glove side of Huggins by Wade Murphy. And the V's strike early here in the second period. Yeah, if you don't have him down in NHL Central scouting, I really don't know how you can't have this kid down. Uh, number 12 in black and uh, blue here today. And great shot as I showed on the replay here and going right over the shoulder on the glove side of Cole Huggins who just looks back at him and says wow because uh, that went off the back crossbar and in and Wade Murphy he's got himself a nice little uh, day going here. His back foot blocked in front as that caught Cody DePork he's slow to get up and the V's feed it out to center. Nanny on the left wing trying to go back in chips it up high to Haas right side he scores! Murphy again top corner it's a touchdown for the V's at 11.32 to go, they're up 7 nothing. Yeah, this one uh, came at a, at a uh, cost for the Vs. Cody DePork blocks the shot with his hand, uh, was down for a second, was able to get to the bench, and back the other way to Vs come. Nanny drops it off, and DeHaas, nice pass uh, over to Wade Murphy, who just picks glove side again on Huggins, and it's a uh, Super Bowl tomorrow, and we've got a 7 nothing lead here today. Wade Murphy. It's the last game these two played here. Manny actually got a penalty for going after Jets. Yeah, so, uh, a little history there between the two. Off the draw, left side. Meller, right wing. McClure drilled it wide over the glove side. He can really hammer it. Rebound Murphy up top. Meller, right point to the circle. McClure, one-timer. Meller buries it. And it's 8-0 on a power play goal as he just one-timed over the blocker side of Urbani. These are now three for four on the power play. And they're up by eight with 7.16 to go. That had some authority on it from Sam Meller. That was a hard struck puck. And we know he has a rock and we've seen it before. That one wasn't even a full wind up. It's kind of a halfway shot far down on Urbani. And these have uh, cracked it open here if they hadn't already and have an eight to nothing lead. Coming into this game, Murphy was tied for the team's point lead against the Express with Ryan Gropp. Both had a goal and assist. And Murphy already has four points here tonight. So six in total, and I'm sure he'll get a couple of assists or a point on that last goal by Meller. Possibly. As well as Sam Meller, so five forwards set here for the Bees. Three for four in the power play. Power play number five here tonight. It was Sam Meller scoring the last power play goal at 12.44, and there's another one. The 5.12 to go, Brad McClure lets it go. Was that tipped in front? I'm not sure, was that Sam Meller letting it go? I don't. I, it was McClure that let it go, and I don't think it was tipped. That was a rocket of a slap shot for Brad McClure, and I think it just beat Urbani, and uh, it's a 9-0 game now here in Penticton. 5-12 to go in the second period. Is this the fastest of these have scored nine goals? Yeah, it's got to be. 5-12 to go. Time of that goal at 14:48. Brad McClure from the right point. If you're not watching on Fast Talkie and you're listening on radio, if you're still yeah, listening. rebound left point. A tip shot just wide in front as Rockwood tipped that on a left point shot by Biega. One minute to go here in this middle period. Nine, nothing for the Vs. Block shot in the right circle. And out to center is James DeHaas. Going down the middle, bust between the two defenders. Now passed in front, DeHaas scores! Murphy feeds him in front and it's 10, nothing as DeHaas gets the goal between the legs of Urbani with 48 seconds left. That was a nice play by James DeHaas, cutting right through the middle, got through the two defenders, left it off for Murphy, who then put it to DeHaas, who kicks it from the skate to the stick in between the legs of Daniel Urbani, and we get ourselves a double-digit game here, 10 to nothing, and we're not even out of the second period. Five in the first, now five here in the second, 19-12 of the second. DeHaas has his fifth of the year, first in 21 games. McKinney feeds it back left point, marks on the wall, his pass blocked though. And the V's are back through center. McCallum on right wing with 21 seconds left. Back inside the line in front of Matia. He scores. Chips it over Urbani's blocker. Everything's going in now with 18 seconds left. 11 nothing for the V's. And we might be approaching a team record. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this many goals scored this quickly before. I believe the last time the V's Hit double digits was last year. Against Salmon Arm. And, and Trail. Now 11 goals here. This is the first time they've done it this year. And uh, 
this team just showing the amount of skill that they have to uh, crack it open. We're only uh, 11 goals through two periods. Not often you see that. And they're going to go home with two points here tonight. And one game over the weekend. And they've done a great job with that one game. Buzzard sounds 11 nothing. the final score. Start to finish a dominant showing for the Penticton Bees. Chad Catner gets shutout number four, making 18 saves. Wade Murphy, a seven-point night for the Vs. A whole slew of players get in on the scoring sheet for Penticton. And the final score, Vs 11, the Express 0. Their seventh straight win and league high mark on that regard. And the Vs will look for eight straight wins next week. Final score, the Vs 11, the Express nothing on a Saturday night of the SOEC.